my name is Shirley Boutou. I am the executive director at the Benjamin Banneker Charter Public School in Cambridge, Mass. And I've been here for 20 years. I think that Banneker is a special, special place to work. And albeit I am a little biased because I've been here for a very long time, but I don't think there's any place like it. It's very familial. Our kids and our families know each other. Our goal is always in mind to ensure that our students are well prepared to go anywhere and be successful, are able to advocate for themselves and have an enriching elementary experience that I wanna say is unforgettable. Working at the Banica is, it's been a joy for me. So I, I think it is one of the greatest schools ever um, because it is a school and it's a culture that doesn't mind change. We will change 183 degrees in a heartbeat if it's gonna benefit our students. Benjamin Banneker is a STEM school. It's K through pre-K through sixth grade. Um, we have about 350 students that come from all over the Boston area, not just the Cambridge area. Um, and we really value integration and like integrating all of those STEM core subject areas into our entire day. For us, part of the problem was our kids weren't seeing themselves reflected in the science and technology fields. Our girls weren't seeing themselves reflected in our African-American students and our, and our brown children, our children of color. And when we, when we went out and started asking local, I mean, we're in Cambridge, Mass. So when we started asking local communities and community colleges and other um, institutions around here for something as simple as having um, a professional night, you know, we would want a black professor or a black scientist or a woman. It's not as easy as it sounded. And so we started little by little, started to figure out what's going on here. And then our focus became science and technology. So we thought, okay, if we can get our kids in love with science and use the technology to enha enhance their learning experience, we've got it. So when I think of Banneker as a STEM school, we think, Okay, what does that mean? What does that look like in an elementary school? And for us, it came across several different pieces. First is ensuring content. We wanted our students to be well-versed in the various content areas. That means our teachers needed to be well-versed in the content areas. But you know what the problem came up? Time. There was not enough time. Because you can't do everything that you need to do in an elementary school in the limited amount of time that you have with the students. So one of the answers that we came up with was integration. And that's what STEM looks like at Banneker. It's around how we can infuse different parts of the content and curriculum so that we can reinforce it constantly for the students. So as a STEM school, we try and integrate STEM throughout our day. Students know that you know, it's our main focus and main vision here at the Banneker. And um, right now we're working on a living things unit. So throughout the day, students are integrating that into each subject area that we're doing. In reading, they're reading about a plant's life and how a plant's grow, and we've planted bean seeds so they can observe those bean seeds and watch those bean seeds grow. They've experimented with different ways that those bean seeds could grow. Um, they've done some math around it. They're, they're taking data and they're measuring it. They're collecting different um, ideas about what that bean seed might become, what they could do with it once it's fully grown. Um, so our whole day, that bean seed, this little tiny bean seed, is integrated into each part of our day. When we became a STEM school, there was, there, it was an arduous process. We spent a great deal of time thinking about what does that look like? What, does we want, what is it we want for our students? We met with the board members, we met with families, we met with students, we interviewed students and parents, we interviewed local community members, we lo local businesses, and we went to each table with the qu big questions like, um, does this mean an extended day for us? And then we talked about what's positive, what might work, what might not work, what are some of the obstacles? So we spent a lot of time thinking about our school day, uh, the, the, the amount of work that our students were expected to do. Um, is it drill and kill? What, you know, our content knowledge for our teachers. So there were lots of components that had to go into this. Then we wanted to know what does success look like after year one, after year two? How will it impact our day to day? How will it impact our assessments, our state assessments? Because as a charter school, we are 
mandated to meet certain standards. And you, whenever you're learning something new, there's a dip. And how will that work for us? How will we be able to explain it? How will we look at the data? What data can we expect? And so these are, it was all tenuous and it was all new, but it was exciting. At the Banneker, teachers are a fundamental component of driving our vision because they are the ones, for lack of a better term, on the ground. They're the ones who see the students on a regular basis, who know the students intimately, who know their strengths and know their weaknesses and know the content. And so our teachers are the ones who are able to help educate us, the administrators, the board of trustees. So my job is to listen, what's going well, what's not going well, what, do you, what resources do you need? And it's my job to figure out how to get you those resources, how to ensure that, those res that you're using those resources efficiently and how to hold you accountable. As a teacher, some of the challenges in moving from just science and technology to the STEM model um, was really just getting the resources and the knowledge that we needed to become successful and to really make this work and make it not just a, a name or a title. We need to actively put it into use and in order to do that, we as teachers need to learn more about it. So I think that was the most difficult thing for me. Um, the kids were excited when this came about. They were excited to, to get more of the hands-on experiences of the engineering and, and really you know, view themselves as true scientists, which was exciting for them. When you're trying to get everyone on the same page, when you're trying, trying to build a culture of collaboration, a shared vision, there are several different pitfalls that can happen. One is that lack of clarity. Ensuring that everyone understands what the end goal wants. And sometimes you don't know. But I think you have to keep delving deeper and deeper and deeper until you clarify what you want that vision to be. And then I think we spend a great deal around process. Because as a team, you now know the vision. We have to figure out, well, how do we share that out? How do we make sure everyone's on the same page? And that it's not top down, it's me telling you what my vision is, but that you feel invested in it and that you feel heard about it. I think having the shared vision is helpful in so many different ways. The, the teachers are excited, most of all. And if you don't have excited teachers, then you don't have a vision. You need to have those, those teachers on board and really buy in to the vision, which, which here at the Banneker is STEM. For me as a science, I consider myself a science person. For me to work in a school, especially in elementary school, and to see all these little children of color come, it's very, very rewarding. I mean, I wouldn't want, and that's why I think I wouldn't want to work in any other place but a school like this. And I see STEM all day. It's not just an event. I see it all day long. STEM is always at the forefront of everything we do. So even when we're thinking about a new initiative, we think about, okay, how will this work for our kids? Why is it important? Where will it fit in? And sometimes it fits in and sometimes it doesn't. But what we're obligated to do is really think about this child because for me, at the end of the day, what's most important is the students get what they need.